Vice President. Joe Biden, uh, Mr. Vice President, you want to talk about issues, but a lot of people want to talk about your gaffes. You have called yourself Me? a gaff machine, okay? Do you, you, in the last few weeks, you've confused New Hampshire for Vermont, said Bobby Kennedy and MLK were assassinated in the late 70s, assured us, I'm not going nuts. <laughs> Follow-up question, are you going nuts? Look, the reason I came on the Jimmy Kimmel show is because I, I, I'm not. I mean, I... I, 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 I got it. I, mean, I uh... Hey, look. Uh, okay, <laughs> fine. No, I'm fine. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Good. I mean, yeah, the that's hell, gonna make the know, rest of this I... easier. Is it fair? <laughs> is it fair or unfair to uh, get after you because of your gaffes? Look, I think it's fair to go after a political figure for anything. Okay, I mean, we're we stand up, and that comes to the territory. But here's the deal: any gaffe that I have made, and I've made gaffes, like every politician I know has have been not about a substantive issue, been about other... I'm trying to talk about what other people have done. Like, for example, they made a big deal of my saying that I pinned a medal on two people. Well, I did, but, but anyway, I pinned a medal on two people and the dates, et cetera. Well, they said and, that the, the branch of the military was wrong and yeah. the date was wrong and That's the right. act he was awarded... Uh, for was wrong and the medal was wrong and <laughs> what, well, what, well, what, what position you held at the time was all those were fact checks well, for you and you said well, that details don't no well, well, they don't. don't here, here's the deal because I was not talking about me I was praising what the valor of all these people out there that I've visited in over 20 visits in Afghanistan and Iraq and I've watched these people and I've watched what they've done and I was pointing out the young man who I did pin the medal on in Wardock province. He didn't want the medal because his, son, his, his buddy had been killed as, we, as he was being dragged out of a burning Humvee and he, didn't, he said, don't pin that on me. Um, I, I know that the man who actually you did, you, who said that, don't pin it on me, said that the important thing to him was that you empathized with him. You understood what his emotional state was at that moment, which is well, something that we sorely need right now. Well, so look, it's a different thing to say when you're, when you're talking about honoring the bravery or the sacrifice or what other people went through and the essence of it is absolutely true the fact that i said that i was vice president well in one case i was vice president elect the other case i was a senator okay. i'm not sure that's relevant but i don't you know i i i, I don't get wrong things like uh, you know there is uh, uh, we we should lock kids up in uh, in cages at the border i mean i don't you know uh, and so, so I think there's a difference just, whether just, you're talking about okay. somebody just, else. Just a follow-up, just to just follow up here. You told NPR that the details are irrelevant. Those details are irrelevant when I the point I was making is absolutely accurate. But some that, details are relevant. Well, some, but but not. That's where the devil lives, is well, in the details. Well, the, the, the devil li lives in the details. If the details that you're talking about would affect the outcome of something that is about to happen, or should happen. And the idea that, uh, you know, I uh, um, made the case that these folks are heroes and we should treat them as that and we should be thankful to them, I don't think the detail of whether or not it was at a fob in the upper Konar Valley, which one was, uh, or not, is particularly relevant. Uh, we have to take a break. When we come back, we will do lightning round.